Yes, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today? <laughs> today we're talking about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right, we got a cool subject for ourselves today, so let's go ahead and dive right on into it. What is our cool subject for today? Our cool subject for today is selling and getting out of bed and being on time. Okay, I'm saying selling and getting up early and being on time to wherever event we need to be at. Today's an open house day for me. I'm getting ready to go out to Lottie, which is about 30 miles right outside of Jacksonville, and I'm getting ready to go uh, set up a house. It's already been set up. We're basically putting out the signages, uh, so that way, you know, when customers drive by, they can say, hey, there's a house. It, it looks like it might be for sale. You know, I work for a cool company called Exit Real Estate ja and Gallery right here in Jacksonville, Florida. And so what I normally do is, like I said, I sell uh, real estate, but I also sell life insurance and mortgage protection because people are just, I hate to say it, dying to see me. It's just not that funny, but it's the re real truth. And today, you're on topics about getting up early. You know, one of the hard things, you know, I've been in sales since the 80s in one form or capacity, and I'm going to tell you what, I hate to get up early, and I really, really do, and I don't know if you have to deal with it or not, but it is a part of my life, it is something that I have to do on occasion, and here recently it's been a whole lot more. It's like people, uh, they want to buy stuff, but they don't want to buy it on my time frame, and old Gary Lee, you know, I'm a, used to the retail hours, you know, getting being there about 9 o'clock. 10 o'clock, you know, strolling in and then time to work till 6, 7, 8, 9 o'clock. Uh, but I still work them hours too. But uh, it's just kind of strange. Uh, as I get a little bit older and stuff like that, I've got to really be more uh, appreciative of time because time is fleeting. It goes by real fast and I have to get up more often now because especially in the life insurance and the final expense business that I am and being at customers houses earlier in the morning they're older they want somebody to be there uh, they've taken the time to fill out some kind of information and some kind of lead for me and uh, I have to get up earlier now I have to get out there and knock on doors and talk to customers and walk them through that difficult process of talking about death it sucks but it's the truth and I have to get up early and it's kind of sucks but you know if you're going to be a salesperson uh, one of the key things that you need to learn how to do especially if you work in the field you got to be on time you got to be out there knocking when people are they need you the most okay and my simple job today is just it's my feelings remember i told you about this platform that we have right here because i'm a real salesperson i deal with sales on a daily basis and i told you i tell you things that a lot of sales people don't even talk about they talk about all the good stuff the fun stuff and all about the making money stuff but i'm gonna talk about the rough stuff the stuff that you got to deal with the good the bad the ugly and what the warts and all <laughs> sales it's great but i'll tell you what sometimes you just got to get out of character like i said for a long time you know when i first got into sales i did door to door and we didn't do anything until after it was seriously i'm serious guys we didn't have to do anything we got picked up around 2 30 3 o'clock in the afternoon got done by 8 30 we were partying dude we were party right afterwards and that was back in the dinosaur days back in the 80s when i was younger now but now as i've gotten a little bit more mature you know i have calling days and those calling days i've got uh two or three of them depending on how things fall and i have to be in sitting in front of my desk my own personal desk of course about 7 30 in the morning so i can be prepared and ready to go for bear and eight and pick up that heavy phone and go hi is this mary <laughs> this is gary lee i'm trying to get back with you about the year so what i'm sharing with you is early to bed early to rise makes a man or a woman wise 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 i don't know who said that but boy i'm feeling kind of tired you know me and my son last night you know yesterday we went and seen some a great concert with uh you know green day it was awesome man here in jacksonville and we saw weezer and we saw uh, uh uh some other great band i can't remember but don't get me wrong i'll remember it later but we had a i'm tired i'm sleepy but uh it was a really really great concert it was a, a really great time that i got to spend with my son 
and uh, the parking lot didn't let out until shoot we didn't get I didn't get home or bed until two o'clock after I took a shower and had me a little something to eat I went to bed and had to get up again at 5 30 this morning and I had to go do an open house okay I didn't mean for it to happen like that but that's just the way it was they had to wait two years because of this pandemic and you know whatever but when you have responsibilities you have to do whatever it takes to be successful you know one of the things that I've learned a long time ago especially when I was a kid I used to have to get up early whether I wanted to on Saturday or Sunday because mama always said you can't be sleeping in that bed and we used to get up about seven o'clock in the morning and get out there and go watch the cars cut the grass and I mean we didn't have a weed eater I was the weed eater okay and it sucked but it was a part of my life as a kid wash all the cars do all do all the stuff go to church and all the good stuff and as I got a little bit more mature I got kind of lazy and kind of complacent because I worked those retail hours for a long time I sold furniture for a long time you know I've been in sales since the 80s in one form or capacity and I'm going to tell you what, it can be rough when you're used to a schedule, but sometimes we just have to bend with old mother nature. we got to go with the flow, and so that's what I do now. See, I'm up early right now. Uh, I sell real estate, and I sell life insurance, and I sell uh, mortgage protection, and you know, you got to be there when the customer needs you most. You're making this magic thing called commission, so if you're working on this mighty magic thing called commission, you got to be there. Okay, it sucks, but the re reality is, you know, the more risk, the more the money. And when you have to get out there and knock on doors, pick up that heavy phone, you're dealing with risk. Now, if you're working in a retail environment, you're set for the schedule that you're set to work. And I've been there and I've done that. And I've also worked in situations where I sold furniture, where I was in an up system and I hated it because I always had to wait for some other person in line to hopefully you know they sold something or they got something done and hopefully my next one will give me the opportunity to do it but when you work for yourself like old gary lee like i said i work for exit real estate gallery <laughs> and i sell life insurance so my whole thing today was just you know just sharing with you about you know being on time for customers being you know being late it makes you look bad now if you're running behind because you know you got a lot of appointments because in the <laughs> insurance business uh you may get with a customer it may take a little bit more finesse and maybe you got to talk to them a little bit more about things now everybody wants to buy stuff they just don't want to be sold stuff so my simple job is just to kind of walk them through the process and sometimes it can be a little daunting because people are afraid to part with that money honey especially when you're a retiree and you've got a, a lot of bills or maybe you're a young person you don't see the significant value of having the insurance but if you got a mortgage and you have a significant other somebody's going to pay that note and it might be the bank taking that note and putting your family out on the street so my simple job is to try to help people and I love my job. I love selling. I love everything about it. The good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all. But sometimes, like I said, I got to pick up that heavy phone and I have to call people. And it sucks. <laughs> it sucks because some people are like, don't want to be bothered. We got all these robo calls all the time and, and ain't nobody there. Or they'll hang up on you. And I don't know, man. It just kind of makes me mad. So if I call you, just remember, I'll say, hey, I'm a real person. Don't hang up. I'm just having fun with you guys at your expense because it's funny. I'm just kidding. But in reality, guys, like I said, our topic for today is selling and getting up early, early and being on time. And I just wish you would give me a thumbs up, share my videos. I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos about all kinds of topics that's got to deal with the real world of selling. I really am a salesman, guys. I sell all the time. I'm talking to people 24 seven. And right now I'm selling you on the idea that sometimes you gotta get out of that bed. Somebody told me a while back, Gary, you know, if you get up out of that bed, first thing you do in the morning is to read something special listen to motivational materials and right now i'll tell you what i'm listening to some wonderful quality stuff that's teaching me how to talk to people over the phone how to talk to people in their homes and i it makes a big difference in your selling presentation if you listen to stuff over and over and i have such a wide variety 
you know, this company that I'm working with right now, it's a pretty daggone good insurance company. Actually, it's a broker, and we, you know, we deal with a bunch of different carriers, and uh, I'll go into more about that later in another video, but uh, just to say, you know, early to bed, early to rise, it don't always happen like that, guys. <laughs> oh, crap, man. It's like I don't get no sleep. And somebody said, well, Gary, uh, do you really need any? Oh, yeah, I need some. But I have to work on it. You know, I don't drink and I don't do drugs. And I don't, I don't, you know, I just don't, that's just not for me. So, you know, my health is very important. I want to be around for as long as old dear Lord Jesus wants me to be around. So in this regard, uh, I'm out here uh, getting ready to go and uh, put out my signage. It's early in the morning, baby. I see there's a little bit of traffic out here, but it's about 8.21 in the morning. That's kind of late for some folks. But I've been up early, and I have to go straight where I need to go, and I'm going to get there. And when I get there, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make a good deal and take good care of customers. Whether they show up or not, I'll be there. And today is a good, a good day for a great day so let's enjoy our day and remember if you're a salesperson selling and getting up early it's a part of the job sometimes remember guys if you're out there doing stuff partying or smoking too much vaping too much it kind of wears you out a little bit drinking too much staying up late you know i didn't get to bed like i said till two o'clock in the morning and i had to get up five five thirty this morning six o'clock but I had to get up and I had to go. Now, if I was feeling really, really bad, it would have been really, really hard. And thank God for coffee. Thank you, God. <laughs> and remember sleeping. You know, uh, what's his name? Van Winkle? Well, that story. Remember that story about Van Winkle? You know, he slept through his whole family's life. He slept through everything. He, had, he took a good nap. But boy, I'll tell you what, when he woke up so many years later, he had lost the time. So don't waste your time. Don't lose your time. Remember, selling is important. We matter. So take advice in this regard. If you can get up a little bit earlier every day, you can do a lot more with your day because you don't want to miss your day because I tell you what I have in the past and it's like well dang where'd the whole day go and then I had to go back to bed and I couldn't sleep so I stayed up late and a cycle happens over and over and over so get up early in the morning go ahead and do your studying go ahead and start picking up the heavy phone start learning start practicing your craft of sales and always remember check out old Gary Lee's uh, videos I got a bunch of them so do me a favor give me a thumbs up share my videos and remember selling and getting up in the morning early it sucks but you know you got to do what you got to do to make what that magic thing called commission your money so i hope you enjoyed the video on it because i really did i had a great time at green day and i'll be singing those songs all day long in my head but in reality i'll be studying some scripts that i'm going to be using okay because if i get up early in the morning i can actually study with a fresh mind that means hopefully tonight i'll get a better sleep okay guys i'll go out there and sell some but if you ain't asking for the order you ain't selling and our total topic for today is selling and what uh, getting up out of that bed sleeping your head and going to work and, and just enjoying your day all right